babes, it's your girl Joy back with another banger. 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 <laughs> As you already know, I have jumped over this video, that video, to do this video, to get you that video, get you that tea. I don't know where I'm at right now. So I just got home from training and I was there all day from 8 to 3.30 and it's a long drive, <laughs> a very long drive, but it doesn't, doesn't matter because you know I love my audio books so that's like my you know decompress time. I have so much to do so I gotta, I just got home. You guys have seen this parts of this outfit but not put together. And so I'm just like, you gotta pair certain things with certain things. It gives it a whole new look, honey, okay? And the only reason that, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, she wore that already because I got the proof in the previous videos. <laughs> but that's okay, and I, my heels are downstairs because um, typically we do not walk on the carpet up the stairs nor down the stairs in our street shoes. I don't know, it's just a thing I have. It just creeps me out and it bothers me, so. <laughs> I don't have my heels on that I wore with this, but I want my little black heels that I got from Amazon. So, um, just to show you this little outfit. And so, of course, I know I wore this belt all the time. Wear the belt all the time, okay? Time, time. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, okay? And I found these shorts somewhere. I don't know where I found them, but I like them. Okay, I like my little shorts, the little pleather shorts, they're cute. And so I paired the shorts with different things. I paired this top. I don't know what I wore this top with. The last time I wore it, school was in session. And I literally got dressed in about two minutes. I was like, oh, okay, that top, let me pair it with some shorts, just real quick. And you know, I, I'm quick for throwing the belt around the waist. And then I just threw this little belt around it and threw my heels on, honey. You could step, step, step. Step, step, <laughs> baby, I need to redo this hair so badly, but it is not going to happen until I finish one of these professional developments that's kicking my tail because then I'll feel guilty when I know I should be working on that, but I'm sitting here doing my hair. And the last time that I can upload something is this weekend, so. After I work on a table a little bit downstairs, I'm gonna get back to this professional development to try to get that done. But of course, I get home. You know, I get home and I send Clinton a text while I'm at my training. That's about an hour away, right? About 45 to 60 minutes away, whatever, depending on traffic. So I'm like, bruh, you know, I need you to clean the kitchen, empty, um, not empty the dishes, the dishes in the dishwasher are dirty and it's not full enough to run it. So, you know, just take whatever dishes in the sink, put it in. And when he first came back home, I could sit home, boy, listen, and it would get done. So I was like, oh, so the regular Clinton's coming back regular clink clink coming back because I gave you a list of things then he used our new air fry I like that air fry it's cute um oh I want to talk about something else that I bought too so listen 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 hold on calm down calm down so so I'm like and clean the air fryer I just scrubbed the air fryer because I did this two little contraptions inside I soaked them I scrubbed them and then it folds up so you can put it away so that means when it's folded up that means it's been cleaned okay and it's put up don't put your food in there to heat up some food that's what the microwave is for now all of a sudden you got to heat your food up in, in the air fryer like you bougie no you put it right in the microwave unless you want to clean it I left all the mess in the air fryer back on the, the little grill thing. The, I don't know. You got to scrub it because it got little holes everywhere. I don't know what you call it, right? And then the drip pan, okay? I just... So I'm like, you need to clean that. So I send him a list, you know, and usually he was doing the stuff. So I come home. Y'all already know how I feel about the kitchen. Y'all you already know, okay? So I come home. Do, 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 do. but the beat was kind of getting to me a little bit ah! so um everything exactly the way it was everything everything and then another pot was on the stove yeah 
same things that were in the kitchen in the sink when I left did the same things in the kitchen in the sink when I came back he's gone because he started his work week he didn't work last week now he's on a schedule on a regular schedule sucker you don't have to be to work until one o'clock so all this time you were home you couldn't take at least 15 minutes to clean it you see what i'm saying it, it would it would literally have taken about 15 minutes so i get home annoyed because you, you know the ones who know me the kitchen has always been the thorn in my side with all of my children it's the thorn on my side so i'm like uh bruh send him a text what happened to this kitchen? I told you to do the kitchen. Oh, oh, I had to get to work an hour earlier. No, you were texting me at 11.30 or 12 o'clock or something like that. So no, you texted me. So you were still home. What you did, you ignored the, the text that I sent you, giving you a little baby list that would have taken you 15 minutes to do. And I was like, hmm, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm starting to boil, boil, I said, First of all, this is something I asked you to do. You have to earn your keep here. And I said, I said, you're a grown man. I asked you to do this one simple thing. I said, this is strike one. Because y'all know where I stand with that. I'm not tolerating this. He's going to be 21 this year. You shouldn't be home. I, it, this is my opinion. I know you guys feel a, a different way. You shouldn't even be here. You know, I'm trying to get the kids out. You trying to come back because life done kicked your butt. Okay, it's time to grow up. And I keep telling him, some of you don't agree with this, but I keep telling him, I'm like, I think the military is your best, your, your best choice. I know with things going on now, I still, I, I still strongly think that, you know, let's agree to disagree. Okay, okay, okay. Because I feel as though, whatever, the opportunities are endless in the military. What else you got going for you? What else? What else is there? So your goal is just to work down the street at the grocery store? Where are your bigger, higher goals in life? And that's for me and my children. What is the bigger picture? What is it that you're striving for, you're reaching for? Nothing's wrong with working at the grocery store, but you're still so young. What are your bigger goals and dreams? Okay, you may be retired or something like that, and you just need a little extra money. Okay, I get that. But now you're young, you graduated high school, you had a taste of reality in life. What are you reaching for? And for me and my children, I hope it's just not the grocery stuff, which is not wrong with that. But being so young, I prefer my kids to have bigger aspirations, not to work at the grocery store down the street. And you in your, in your right mind. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to understand some people with disabilities. That's a great thing to be at the grocery store. But for me, think big. Have a goal you're pursuing, a dream you want to try. Not the grocery store down the street. So this is it. So this is it. This, this is what you want for your life. And I'm not here to offend anyone. And I understand if you're retired or, you know, whatever the case may be. But for me and my children, and I hope for you and your younger children, you want them to dream bigger. We all want, or if you have children, we want the, the best for our children. We want them to aspire to, to greater things in life. I hope I'm not, I, I don't want to offend anybody. But how I feel about the direction my children's lives go in, I hope is for something bigger. Making a bigger impact. Not that you can't make an impact at the grocery store because saying something or talking to somebody could be an impact. But you get what I'm saying. So I'm like, bro, you need to come up with a plan. And you better do it quickly. All right, leave your opinion in the comment section below because I know you're going to give it to me, aunties and uncles. And I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting greatness from your... There's just like uh, Sasha and Malia, Malia the, 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 the Obama girls. Oh, yeah, kids, you are going to work at the grocery store down the street. Really? Really? You get out of high school, you go to college grocery store down the street now that is a temporary fix for something you're trying to hustle whatever i get that or if that's you home from you home you're home from college and you, you get a little job i get that but for me and my children i want your goals to be a little bit bigger 
and I am not trying to offend what works for you works for you what works for me may not be what works for you you know what I'm saying what works for you may not be works for me maybe some people are like a teacher is your aspiration that's what you want to do that, that you know for me right now this that works for me <laughs> you know I'm like oh teacher what ew. someone may feel that way and that's okay you might feel that way and you're entitled to that but with that let me take my clothes off work on this table for a few minutes and then this this professional development oh it got it has to be oh i need this hair done it's terrible y'all some of these braids holding on by three and i got like over an inch of new growth can you see that this is new growth here's the end of the braid all of this is new growth all of this all of this all of this that's about an inch it make no sense and the back is even worse hanging on by a thread y'all that's all right and but I, I just can't imagine stopping to do hair knowing i got the table and this professional development i need to i need to do but what i'm learning is pretty cool it's a little overwhelming just real quick real quick i know y'all probably get tired of my teacher stuff so what I'm doing is Martin Classroom Project, and it's a five week course. And they're teaching me how to convert my entire theory of teaching, my entire way of teaching into a blended classroom. So therefore, I shouldn't, the way the program is designed, I should never be at the front of the room. Not never, but in most cases, I should not be in front of the room delivering a lesson. The lesson, my lesson should all be on video. You know, I'm recording my slides and I'm, I'm speaking. And you can see my little picture on the side. So therefore, no, hold on, hold on. Therefore, so if you have different types of learners, the teaching is differentiated. How? Because if you're a slow learner, slow reader, whatever it is, you can rewind, you can rewind, you can go back, you can have time to process. If you're a fast learner, you can move ahead in the curriculum. You could go faster if that's what works for you. And if you're having trouble spots, it frees up my time for not being in front of the class where I could pull a small group and we go through it together. The other thing is, is that um, the children pace their own learning. But of course you have, you have deadlines for the things, but they have the opportunity to go at their own speed, their own pace. And so um, every lesson is recorded and it needs to be my voice, it needs to be my face, it needs to be my information that I'm delivering. And then they have practice assignments and everything is online. So therefore they're managing their time. How it's going to go, I don't know, but there have been numerous studies on the Modern Classroom Project that shows um, significant success. So it's, it's so much. <laughs> It's like rewiring my brain in every lesson um, to put online and with um, virtual classes, if a student is absent or they get sick, those lessons are all online. So there's never, ever, 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 ever an excuse for not doing the work. The lessons are always there, whether you're in class, whether you're at home dealing with COVID, the lessons are all there. All my lessons are online, all the practice materials are online, all the assignments are online, everything's online, the whole lesson. And so I'm there to facilitate, to confer, to see where you are in the process, to assess once you've mastered all those skills. So I think it, it, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity and it's gonna take some getting used to, but it is kicking that, that learning phase. It's really kicking my butt. Ah, I have two more submissions to go and then I'm done. <laughs> all right, guys, not that you want to hear that, but that's what I'm doing and it's kicking my butt. So outside of the Modern Classroom Project, I'm doing other professional development classes that people don't quite understand because I have all my hours. I was like, yeah, it's not about the hours. It's about the learning or being refreshed or reminded of something that I didn't do or I forgot to do. So I just, I just love learning new things. And with the goal of applying it for the new school year, there's always that goal. Cause you know, there's always a goal that I'm trying to reach. Uh, something new I'm trying to implement and learn. I'm always learning. I always want to better myself. And I don't quite see that for you know who. So, say some prayers. 
leave some suggestions but he seems to be at that stage where he knows everything he knows everything still sweet never disrespectful you know besides not doing what i told you to do but like you know talking back to me and stuff like that no i i thank the lord i don't have that problem with my kids god only gives you as much as you can handle you know what i mean so he knew i couldn't tolerate that you know i probably would be wouldn't be a teacher so anyway with that said bye y'all